Hey, what's up guys? Dylan here. So today I figured that since I have a new album slash EP dropping soon, that I would recreate the very first beat you hear on my last album, Money Moves. Now this has been out since September of last year, so it's been almost a year that this has come out, and I was like, you know what? I thought, why not just celebrate with just my new album dropping with just remaking the very first beat you hear on the last album. Now I'm not I'm not saying I'm gonna be great at this. Uh, this was during a time where I was still new to producing, and I also just I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have half the sh that I did now, and also uh, it was just it was a very unique time for me. Uh, it's been almost a year since I've made this beat, so I really hope that I can do it, redo it the best I can, and I will actually be posting it on my YouTube channel after this video goes up so that you guys at home can like do your remixes do your whatever you want to do um yeah so enough long intro let's just get into it um i'm gonna try and do it as fast as possible by the way because it is like nine o'clock at night my time and i do have work in the morning so i want to try and get this beat done as soon as possible so let's just get into it All right, hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Dylan. Hey, I'm gonna go and turn up my mic a little bit. So today, guys, I'm gonna be recreating my song going off at least the beat. So the original loop that got sent to me by Pink Grills a long time ago, back when I was still in contact with Pink Grills, was this loop called Hate For What. Now, obviously, I didn't name the song that. Uh, in fact, the thing of going off was just a freestyle I did while I was making the beat. I was like, there's no way that this works. And I, I did it, and it worked. So I was like, oh, cool. And then I made the song. So I haven't even cut it yet. I, I wanted to show you guys kind of my process and what I do when I'm cutting loops and all this. Um, also, I know that it is hard to see with how my monitor is. It's one of those big like rectangle monitors. So it's harder to record the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in for you guys at home uh, like this so you guys can see it better. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the loop. I've already got it uh, BPM synced because, you know, I thought I'd at least save myself that trouble before I like start making the beat and then I f*** it up and then it just is a terrible thing that happens. So let's go ahead and keep cutting the beat here. I know that there's faster ways to do this, but I'm not really that great at like doing that type of thing. I don't know the shortcuts. I don't know all the shortcuts in FL Studio. I'm still pretty new to producing in FL Studio even now, even though I've been doing it for almost a year and a half, but it's fine. Also, for those at home, I am going to bleep out my swears because I know the kids watch me, but I know that I'm going to swear because this is a very stressful process sometimes. So, now we got the loop. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the melody. Uh, thing that I have here, I have all my mixer tracks set to stuff. Like you can see the kick, the, the clap, the 808, the snare, perk, hats, whatever. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a parametric EQ2, which I know you guys can't see that, but I'm basically just going to cut the loop, but not so much that it sounds bad, but just to the point where, you know, it's crazy. All right, so the very first thing that I ever did for this song was hi-hats. Now, as you guys can see, I have a lot more kits than I did way back when. So what I used was the Internet Money Sauce Kit. This is the very first thing I ever had. This is the very first kit I ever had. Dinox actually sent it my way. I don't even think anybody else has it, but he sent it my way, and I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? And he's like, whatever you want, bro. So I'm going to go ahead and try and find as close to the original as I can for the samples. Like I said, it's been about a year <laughs> since I've done this, so I'm not gonna get it perfect, but we're going to try. I'm pretty sure this is the hi-hat I use though. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go up here, create a new pattern, open the pattern. Now I do kind of remember this part of it. So I'm just gonna do a two-step real quick. And you can hear that that's already close to the original. 
But what I did was I had a few cuts here and there. And then I just repeated those. And then for the very last one, what I did was I cut this and then I made it go down in octaves because I thought it was cool at the time. I'm pretty sure, I don't even remember at this point. I, it's been so long. But that does sound right. So what I did then was I doubled it right here. So that way it fits throughout the whole loop, makes a whole eight bar. So next is claps. Now, again, there are so many in this sauce kit right here that I don't even remember what I used, but I'm pretty sure, I'm almost certain it was the Perky 90, Perky 97 clap. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a new pattern. We're going to make a hit on the two. But not that note, what the f There we go. That's sounding really good. I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Oh, I'm gonna go too far. I'm supposed to only make it go to the nine, I believe. All right, next is uh, kicks. Now again, in going off, I used a very thumpy kick and I'm pretty sure it was the rack kick. So we're gonna use the rack kick and if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, I don't really care. Because at the end of the day, it's my video, it's my channel, I can do what I want. So here we go. thing I did was open hi-hats and again I vaguely remember the one I used because I was talking to Dinox uh, on call when I was doing the ghost beat I believe and no it was it was the star blast beat that August used for his song signs and I was like yo what sample did you use for the open hi-hat it sounds so good he said the OH cloud nine right here and I used this in almost every single beat for like a month straight because it was it was a classic now I don't really use that anymore I don't really do open hi-hats in general anymore but <laughs> stop like messing around so okay this is going to be the hardest part because the 808 was so unique and just it's it was so different that i don't remember which one i used we're just going to use the 100k 808 because that's one of the classics it's like the dylan m signature to use at this point so now I have to uh, pitch match it.
now what I'm going to do is I'm just copy this over, get rid of all this. So the next thing that I did was super unique at the time. Uh, basically what I did was I took the kick and I soloed out this note right here. Then I made it do this, and then I made it do this, and then this. And then I just did the same thing with the 808. Boom, boom, and then cut it. Boom, boom, and then cut it. So now I'll just copy this over to do the verse, which what I did with the verse was I first, well, I, I muted that because that's the bass. Uh, then I muted this, I believe. And then I just copied this over and then I cut everything that wasn't the 808 by two bars, made it drop. And then I just kept everything else after that. Did this. And then I did that. And then I did the hook again. And then I did this. And then I kept that there. And then I kept the ones that didn't have 808s. Perfect. So that was how I made the going off beat best I could. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a very boring video, but hopefully you guys learned something about my process and how I do things. And let me know what song you want me to recreate next. I'm going to try and do that the best I can. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, go and listen to the original album that this song is on. It's also a single if you don't want to listen to the whole album. And uh, yeah. Bye, guys.